we've really had a lot of success here, especially with this car here, the Blowfish. Went to Bonneville with it, first time back in 06, and I'm very fortunate to have four records with it. It's the second fastest door slammer ever, and we missed by half mile an hour. Uh, 307 is a two-way average, and we actually ran 320 mile an hour with it. It's a 390-inch R5 Dodge. NASCAR motor of probably three years ago would be the deal. And when we went 320, it was 1,400 horsepower. We came back, we switched this engine uh, to methanol, 118 millimeter turbo, made 2,300 horsepower, which we found out lost the balance of the car. Went back to Bonneville and spun it 12 times over a mile and a half at uh, 280. So uh, luckily nobody got hurt, we fixed it up. So. When it's all said and done, this could be one of our uh, biggest things. You know, Bonneville has so much history. We're trying to recreate the new history out there with the things we're involved with. When we built it, we kind of took that approach. We're very fortunate when we built this car, we spent 40 hours in a wind tunnel at Chrysler developing the front end, the A-pillars, and all the little aerodynamic cues you've seen, which really helped us when we spun it out to keep it on the ground. It's a full chromoly chassis, pretty, pretty high tech. It's intercooled, uh, water to air got boost control. The chassis kind of mimicked off of a pro stock car of the era. When we started this project, it had a three liter, 179 cubic inch turbocharged four cylinder in it. And we ended up going 270 mile an hour with that little four cylinder. So made 970 horsepower at 10,000 RPM with 40 pounds of boost. And there's nothing that sounds like that engine right there. One of the things I remember when we brought it to Bonneville the first time, we're going through tech and normally there's one or two guys tech in each car and we had I think probably 15 tech guys over by it. You know they wanted to see it and of course everybody wants to be a hero out there and find something wrong and it was our first time out there and they only found a couple little piddly things we fixed it but I'll never forget uh, one of the guys is like uh, I remember him saying he goes yeah they they brought a show car out here this is a racetrack. Luckily the first pass ever in this car was 235. So that pretty much shut everybody up pretty quick. The neat thing about the Barracuda that I always like too is obviously the back window. They're very big in the Hemi nostalgia drag racing classes, but I like, you know, the back window really is cool. And it was a great backdrop for us to show some of our fabrication skills. And uh, a lot of people would walk up and, you know, they'd be like, holy cow, you know, that's a lot of tubing in there. And, you know, I'm like, well, I guess when you're tumbling at 200, the last thing you know, I'd run through your head is I should have put more tubing in it. So. Very cool car, big success, and it's been an evolving thing. You know, when we spun it at 280, and luckily it stayed on the ground, it tore the deck lid off, so now we, we built these flaps here. So if it does get around backwards, these will open up like a roof flap similar to a NASCAR and diffuse the air and hopefully keep the deck lid on the car, so save us some work later. But uh, great, great iconic car, probably one of my definite, you know, for its own different things, my favorite car we've done.